Oh man, how, social media has changed journalism in a lot of ways, I think. And I see it both in, in both the good and the bad. We don't have a sort of broadcast publishing model anymore, uh, which is lovely because it allows a direct connection. I think that there is, um, uh, for me, um, a lot of excitement about um, reaching a wider audience because there are some people that are only coming to us in the digital space. Facebook itself is having an outsized impact right now on the practice of journalism and the business of journalism. It's actually just like the reality of traffic flow on the internet now is if something doesn't succeed on Facebook, it does not succeed at all. Twitter is important in terms of setting the agenda and the conversation, but Facebook is where Facebook is where everyone really is actually discussing and sharing that information. I have always been a champion for old media flinging open its doors and allowing citizens to participate. I mean, I got into public radio very early on uh, because of this idea that it was supposed to belong to all of us. To me, there, there's really not old and new media. There's just, there's just how quickly are you taking what's good from the past and kind of adding new ideas to it. But I think what old media can learn from new media is the ability to move quicker, to bring more voices into the conversation, to really create an environment that you previously could only uh, create when you were able to convene people together. New media has professionalized, so it looks a lot more like old media. Old media has hired a bunch of like uh, bloggy types and webby types. So increasingly, it's just sort of all digital media. Um, and the line between those two things is just, you know, uh, it's like uh, disappearing. That can be thrilling, it can be frightening. You know, the consumer has a lot more responsibility. And the consumer then needs to figure out who to trust. Uh, I mean, that's the key. Like, who do you trust? Um, yes.